1.5 million years ago, a spark lit the first human-made fire and ignited a great revolution for our species, a revolution of energy. Our ancestors first used energy by burning biomass, like wood, to create fire. Fire was eventually controlled and used to cook food. Cooking breaks down food quicker than a primate's digestive system and allows for a greater intake of calories in a shorter amount of time. This extra nourishment enabled our energy-intensive brains to grow larger. Extra time, previously used for foraging and eating, could now be spent on more cerebral tasks like thinking, socializing, and creating. In 6000 BCE, early humans created a thermally insulated chamber used for drying and hardening clay, known as a kiln, which became a common technology. By burning biomass and generating temperatures in excess of 900 degrees Celsius, humans could now create pottery, tiles, and bricks. As technology advanced, kilns became hot enough to melt metal. Humans eventually pioneered metallurgical studies, the science of metals. In 3200 BCE, civilizations in places like the Middle East, Asia, and Europe discovered that the smelting of copper with tin created bronze, a hard, durable alloy. This technological leap gave life to the Bronze Age, an age which fostered trade, agriculture, and the first intermingling of cultures. While early kilns were hot enough to melt copper and tin, advancements were needed before they could melt iron, a stronger, more abundant metal. It was also discovered that infusing iron with carbon resulted in a high tensile alloy known as steel. In 1200 BCE, Steel transformed civilization and moved humans into the Iron Age. The Iron Age was a period of lighter, sharper weapons, armored cavalry, and more resilient tools. Today, steel remains one of the foundational building blocks of our modern society. In 300 BCE, humans harnessed the energy of flowing water. Water wheels were used for drawing water from rivers to fill aqueducts, irrigate farmland, and to mill flour. Energy in wind was later captured using windmills starting in 900 AD in Persia and independently in Europe. Wind energy was primarily used in granaries for powdering grains into flour used for cooking and baking. In the 1800s, mankind saw a second energy revolution, a revolution as transformational as first harnessing fire, the use of fossil fuels. The first major fossil fuel, coal, saw demand soar during the Industrial Revolution as a flurry of new mechanical and electrical technologies emerged. From steam engines to electric turbines, the world was transformed with industrial machinery and communication. For the first time in history, humans could travel at speeds greater than a horse on land and faster than the winds at sea. About the same time, natural gas was discovered and used in Britain and the United States for additional lighting in the evenings. This extended the hours of human productivity deep into the night. As a result of the technological and energetic changes from the Industrial Revolution, household incomes rose across the world and populations boomed. The coal-powered steam engine was eventually overtaken by the oil-powered internal combustion engine during World War I. Sir Winston Churchill and the British Navy opted to replace its steam-powered battleships with oil-powered ones which were faster and more maneuverable. This technology gave Britain a significant military advantage over the Germans, who were using the now outdated steam power ships. This switch from coal to oil has been argued to have been the deciding factor in World War I. It clearly cemented oil as the most important commodity on Earth. Oil was later harnessed for things like plastics, asphalt, commercial aviation, and space travel. While the First World War gave rise to oil, the second gave rise to nuclear. After Albert Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, demonstrated the colossal quantities of energy inside an atom, the scientists and engineers of the Manhattan Project unleashed the power of the atom with two nuclear bombs dropped on Japan. That atomic energy was later harnessed to boil water into steam, which could spin turbines to generate electricity. The future is unknowable. Creating and focusing energy and the discovery of new energy sources has been the genesis for technological advancement. Thomas Edison didn't create the light bulb from an incremental improvement of the candle, but neither has electricity replaced the need for fire. Our ancestors, who first learned to harness fire, 
could not imagine their descendants using fire to travel to the stars. As we weigh the benefits of a fossil fuel powered society with its long-term drawbacks, like scarcity and climate change, the future remains uncertain. With increasing global populations and rising individual energy needs, the only certainty is, we will use more energy tomorrow than we do today.